Hey everybody in the FFBE Global Group, uh, we're here with this week's Ask an Old Mog video and actually uh, really excited to say that uh, today's video was uh, brought to us by uh, somebody asking a question that they wanted to answer to after last week's video uh, went pretty well. So wanted to go ahead and, and try and answer that question. That's one that I think is uh, relevant in uh, this current age of the game. Uh, where most players probably have a bunch of uh, what we're going to talk about, and that's vision cards. Um, so last week we talked about you know what TMRs and STMRs are good to make multiple copies of, or which ones are good to invest in. Uh, I thought that we could um, answer Fred B's question, which was the same thing, just about uh, vision cards. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what we have going on. So. Um, if you are not aware, you can actually get to the vision cards pretty easily um, and go into your items. And then vision cards are there at the bottom of the menu. Now, um, I have a lot of vision cards. I have 166 vision cards available. And so you might be asking yourself, you know, what, which ones are going to be good to invest in? Um, and most of them are honestly uh, Cactar cards, just because I have not uh, fully awoken all of mine yet. Now let's go ahead and pop Fred's question up. Uh, Fred asked us, you know, what are some good cards to have multiple of um, or invest in? He kind of paraphrased. I'm, I'm kind of paraphrasing because he really just said, hey, can you do the same video just about vision cards? And so here we are. Um, so I use a lot of the same criteria for vision cards that I use for TMRs and STMRs. Um, so I'm looking for vision cards that either provide uh, multiple units a good benefit for a variety of roles or content. Um, so basically what that means is cards that are going to be like usable on lots of units um, or cards that do something really specific to a unique unit or um, I, I said that backwards does something unique to a powerful unit um, and there's a handful of those um, but sometimes you really only need one if it's a, if you only can run one strong unit in a party anyway um, just needing one good card uh, for that unit is is fine so it, it, sometimes that varies um, but I also looked at uh, units that provide a benefit um, that allow you to be more efficient with how you gear and um, set up your units with their abilities. Because sometimes um, you run out of slots for gear and abilities very quickly. So having cards that provide some sort of benefit is um, is good. So we'll take a look at some examples. Um, White Dragon Ling. I'm going to go ahead and show you White Dragon Ling's card. On my list is at the very bottom right here. So uh, hers gives a really high attack stat on the card. It's not the highest attack stat card on the card, but what's really nice about it is you can see there are no restrictions on her um, on her abilities. So she just gets 115 attack, 25% um, for this level, 25% attack for this level, and then 40% health. Um, and so you can just slap that on any unit um, from any series, any gender, um, you know, whatever. Uh, a lot of cards have either gender requirements or series requirements, and you're going to get those benefits. Uh, so that's a really good one because it covers a wide range of units without any restrictions. Um, some other ones that I think are useful are, like I said, ones that provide a, a benefit that might otherwise only be provided by um, a piece of equipment or a, an ability. Um, and the big one here that I want to look at is um, LB damage. Now, um, Starlight Elena. Louise, um, Neovision, Charlotte, um, Coral, they all have this ability. So I'm going to go ahead and open this one up. This is Louise's. Um, and um, it's right down here. Um, in this case, it's called um, Crimson Warrior's Pride. And it gives 50% limit burst damage. And now this one, you can only get it by equipping it to an FFB unit. Um, sometimes that's not, the, not a big deal. Sometimes it is a big deal. Um, let's go look at Starlight Elena's. Hers is... 50% limit burst damage, but you have to equip it to a female unit. Again, sometimes not a big deal, sometimes it is. Um, and then the other two that are on there, Corral and, and Neovision Charlotte, those are also FFBE units. Um, but, you know, some of those, like I said, there are a lot of FB, FFBE units um, that can benefit from these cards. 50% um, uh, limit burst damage is not terribly rare. There's lots of abilities that do it, but you know, if you're running out of spots because you're trying to fit in killers or you're trying to fit in something else, you know, getting 50% on a vision card is not a bad thing. So having multiple copies of that is pretty good. Um, in my case, I've got two copies of um, Charlotte's and Coral's each because I happen to have Diverti, Charlotte, Corral and uh, Vlad because uh, I'm not that I pulled for them, I just happened to have gotten them and uh, have them all at EX plus one, so I've got all those cards. Um, actually, uh, White Dragon Ling, 
and Louise. I, I have the first White Dragon Ling card that I have, I got from Ling, um, but the second one and Louise's I got from the um, the permanent vision card select tickets that we get from Awakening um, Sephiroth and Aerith and Tifa to um, EX plus two. So I, uh, I grabbed those there. Um, the next ones I want to look at are uh, is Yoshikiri. So Yoshikiri, you might think, oh, Yoshikiri, he's not even a good unit. Um, but his vision card is actually surprisingly useful. It's this one right here. Um, so, okay, main story, you get 20% spirit. Like, ooh, you know, whatever. This one, though, side quests, it gives you status immunity to uh, all of this, right? It nullifies all of that on a vision card. Not an item, not an ability on a vision card. So you can just stick this on a spirit unit. Uh, you're going to get 100 spirit and get all that other stuff. You get 120 or 20 more percent, all that immunity. And if it happens to be a double hand unit, um, uh, this one gets 25% additional spirit, uh, true double hand. Um, so that's not like super awesome, but it is there, you know, uh, for, for some units that are going to benefit from that, um, you know, hit, hit Yoshikiri specifically benefits from that, uh, but there is a handful of others, and it's pretty rare on a vision card, so it's decent. But the one that I'm most excited about, honestly, is the side quest. That if those immunities, then you be able to, again, no restrictions. You can just stick this on anybody and get all that, all those, um, all those immunities. Pretty cool. Um, so then the other ones are uh, ones that I actually can't demonstrate for you because I don't even have these cards. But um, Neo Vision Celeste. Um, Sephiroth, Tifa, Kurosame, um, they each give respectively massive stat boosts for units in their series. So like Tifa and Sephiroth are going to give big stat boosts um, to Final Fantasy 7 units. Uh, Celeste has um, big boosts to Final Fantasy 6 units. And I, I just don't have any of these units to demonstrate that I don't have their cards, or at least. I have I have Tifa and Sephiroth and Kurosame. Actually, I just got Kurosame today. Um, but I don't have their vision cards yet. So uh, they are going to give big stat boosts just for those characters. So if you have multiple Final Fantasy VII units that you want to run in a party and, and then wanting to get that big stat boost, um, having multiple of those cards is good. Same thing with uh, Celeste, I guess, and Kurosame. I know, you know, especially for the um, their Chronicle battle where you have to do it in three turns, you know, having, having those big stat boosts is going to be useful. So, you know, consider that depending on what uh, strategy you're running, uh, if you have multiples of those. Uh, but they're, they're still good to invest in. And obviously, Tifa and Sephiroth, because they're premium, you get their their big boost ability anyway, just because there's only one level of the card. And once you get it, you get it. So those are good. You don't have to invest anything other than your uh, your soul for paying for, for the unit or just getting really, really lucky to pull that many copies. Um, so I, I would say less important are any cards that only benefit one specific unit. Um, so like Neovision Terra, right? Find that card here. Um, where is it? Right here. Right, so she gets magic, which is good, with a sword equipped. Less good, but still decent. You know, 100% magic with sword equipped. Uh, and then this one. This has to be a Final Fantasy VI unit. I'm getting a 20% more and a 30% evocation damage boost on a Final Fantasy VI unit. So that only applies to the Terra. She's the only evoker that we have. Um, unless you're running two Terras in your party and you happen to have two of your own Terras to do that, uh... This is just not that useful of a card to have multiple copies of. It's great for her, um, but uh, not useful to have multiple copies of. You know, another example of an evocation card that's more flexible is honestly going to be uh, Ferris's. Uh, this one here. You know, this one at least applies to all female units, and there's multiple evokers that are females. Sorry, Diverti, um, but you don't get to benefit from this one. But you could theoretically benefit from. Nope, not that one either. Has to be female unit, yeah. Um, but it's this one's at least less restrictive. Just gives you magic without having to equip a sword. Um, so you know those are less good to have multiple copies of, unless you're running multiple evokers, for example. Um, but you know they're there. They're they're good cards. They just you know don't need them. Another really you know really good example here. Um, Arden's card. Come on. Um, has to be a Final Fantasy 15 unit, uh, and there's only two of them that do, uh, that's not true, there's three of them that do jump damage, um, but uh, only two of them that are relevant, um, and even them, they're kind of falling off, so like, 
Final Fantasy 15 unit doing jump damage. I don't really need multiple copies of this because I'm not going to run two jumpers at the same time. Why would I run Arden and Noctis? I don't need them both. Uh, or um, what's the other one? She's a Dragoon chick. She's got a bunch of armor on. Uh, I'm I'm drawing a blank. But she's from Final Fantasy 15, I promise. <laughs> and you don't need to run more than one at a time. So that's kind of how I evaluate it. You know, I'm looking for... Again, I'm, I'll go back to it. Um, I'm either looking for stuff that gives benefits to a lot of different units, um, something powerful to specific units, or benefits that are going to help me balance out like how I equip my units um, and like, have room for their all their abilities and the equipment that I want. So giving those bonus abilities from cards. Um, so that's that's pretty much it. Um, the other thing, though, uh, let's be real here, okay? So many people have asked this question, will we get Neo Visions Awaken Daisy? Her shards are in the King Mog shop and I can't awaken her. What's the deal? Uh, yes, we're going to get her. Uh, supposedly, according to the news, we're going to get her next week. Now, you can read the news for yourself. I'm going to show it here on the screen and I'm going to show you how hard it is to get to it. Um, it is fairly difficult to find this specific piece of news, but look, I've read all the news. You can read all the news too. Uh, but if you come down to Journey Filled with Love, it's right there, second, second one. I'm, this is the top, right? So I'm going down, 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 all the way down. At the very, very bottom, it's like this little tagline throwaway like piece of information right there. Daisy will be made available on 1014. So stay tuned for more information. So uh, lots of times uh, we see a lot of questions like this that just kind of pop up and it's, it's readily available in the news. Uh, that doesn't mean I don't want you to ask, um, but that said, uh, did you also know that in the groups page, on the Facebook page, you can actually click on the magnifying glass that's up at the upper um, right hand part of the screen if you're looking at it on your phone or a mobile device. Um, and there's a magnifying glass there. And if you just type in Daisy, for example, it'll pull up all the posts about Daisy. Um, and if you're not uh, sure if you wanna make a post and ask that question, you can just search to see if anybody else has asked the same question. In this case, uh, lots and lots of people did to um, ask the same question. Uh, and I don't want to discourage asking questions. You know, sometimes, sometimes we see posts that are like the same thing over and over again. And, and we'll say, Hey, you know, somebody's already asked this or, Hey, you know, you can read the news. I, I just, I, I would hate for, for you to, to not ask a question that's really important, but I would also hate for you to ask a question and then somebody like pick on you for like not reading the news or pick on you for not knowing any different. We had a similar one a couple of weeks ago with like when, um, when Super Limit Burst came out and people didn't know why Brave Shift wasn't working because Super Limit Burst was, you know, brand new to the game and they didn't understand it and they were asking that question a lot. Um, you know, don't don't hesitate to ask, but, you know, also check and see. You can look and see, you know, did somebody else ask this question already? Um, you know, just today alone, I responded personally to at least three of these questions with the with a screenshot of the news saying, hey, yeah, you know, no big deal. It's, it's coming on 1014. Um, but, you know, you can see that information for yourself. I'm not trying to shame you for it. Um, I, I made a, I made a joke earlier about roasting everybody who was um, asking about it. I'm not going to name names or, or pick on anybody, but yeah, seriously, read the news. It's there. You know, it in this specific case, it is buried at the bottom of the news, but it's there. Um, you know, it takes you just a couple of seconds. And and you know, hey, how I decide what I want to read for sure. I, I try to read everything just because I don't like seeing the notification there. The ones I hit really hard are events. Um, I don't really read the ones about summons or bundles in the store, uh, stuff like that. But the event ones, I definitely take a look at because I try to see like, okay, what, what, uh, which ones do I want to focus on and what rewards do I want to get, whatever, um, that kind of stuff. I don't really, I usually care about the updates, um, the campaigns. I don't usually care about um, just because I'm, I don't really, I'm, I'm usually not too worried about like, you know, what bundles are going to be there that I'm not going to spend my money on. Um, that's just the reality of a being a, a free player. So uh, there you have it. Read the news and then check in the group before you post sometimes. Sometimes, not every time, like just sometimes. Like if you think, oh, this is an easy enough question, I bet. I wonder if anybody else has asked this question. You know, use the little magnifying glass and see. That's about all I got right this moment. So, um, you know, thank you for bringing us a question to talk about. I really appreciate that, Frank. I think it was Frank, right? Let's check. Was it Frank? Yeah, oh, Fred. 
not Frank, Fred. So thank you, Fred, for bringing us a question to talk about. I appreciate that. You know, it gives me something to think about uh, throughout the week as um, as I was trying to decide what I wanted to do for the video. And uh, yeah, you guys keep asking questions. I appreciate it. Um, if you have a question you want asked, you know, drop a comment here on this post, or you can drop a comment on the YouTube uh, page when you see this there. Um, I'd be happy to put something together for you and visually demonstrate it for you and give you my feedback. If you have a different perspective on how you like to evaluate vision cards and which ones you like to focus on, you know, definitely share that so we can all learn from uh, you together. Um, and uh, I think I made a comment like this on the last post too. Even if you know something, um, but you just think it's a good topic that would be uh, good for new players for us to discuss, you know, by all means, drop that here just so we can have something to discuss and learn about. Uh, that would be really cool. I'll see you guys in the next video though. Have a good one.